Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome to this tutorial showing you how to add mods to Sonic Origins. So, first thing you want to do, I will leave the link in the description to the links that I'm going for, or I'll leave it to the, the link for this part so you can see the list of links for the game and you can select whichever one you like. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do the one with Sonic CD and one with Metal Sonic. So you can play as Metal Sonic in those two games. I, I know, yeah, there's a lot of adverts. I know, I apologize for that. So let's just close these for now. Just ignore all these and we will get back to it. Okay, so what you see here is that you've got Metal Sonic and it will show you like displays here, like examples of what to expect when you play this mod. So there are many different mods that you could try out. I'm just clicking this one just for the sake of the tutorial. Anyway, you come down to here and then there's two things you've got to download. Well, I mean, two things if you haven't downloaded the mod manager yet. So there's this one. That's the actual mod for Metal Sonic to be in CD in one. The mod manager is the app that you use to put the mods on it. So you've got to just click that and you also click this and that will download the app and the mod. I've already got them downloaded, so I'm going to show you this here. Okay, so this app right here, Hedge Mod Mania, it does not matter whereabouts you put this, this will work either way. So it could be on your desktop, it could be in the, the file, like where the game, where the game actually is. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you get the game installed, that should work. Right now, let's jump into it. So let's open it. And this is the mod. As you can see, I've already got the mods in this. But you're probably wondering, Kieran, how do you get the mods into the game? Right, well, that is very simple. So what you do is that when you come to here, you want to click the open mods directory. So what this does when you open it, it will take you to the exact folder, the exact location of where you put the mods. So how to put the mods in here? What you do is like, say for example, when you get the mod, you've got the, the folders here in these RAR folders. So for the sake of this, like what you do, open the mod and then you want to close that. Right, then we open the mods folder again, where the directory, so again, on the hedge mod manager app, I can never pronounce that right, I do apologize. <laughs> okay, anyway, the quickest way to get to it, open mods directory. Game directory will just take you to the Steam folder with the game. This one takes you to where the mods are, so like I said, you, you, click, in, you click that, and it opens this folder here. So what you do to add the, the mod, you want to... I'm just going to demonstrate it because I know I've already got the mod in here. But what you do, you basically click, you click and hold the folder and you drag it straight into here. Because it will ask me like, oh, do I want to replace it? Because I've already got it in there. But let's, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. But yeah, replace files and destination. That's what I'm going to do. But you won't need to do that if you're only going to install this once. So again, you just click and hold, drag it straight into here. But like I said, I've already got it in there. So... What you do next, let me talk to you a bit about the app first. So you've got three tabs here. You've got one here that's the modes, well, the mods, sorry. Like, these are the two that I've got in here so far. So you've got Metal Sonic 1 and CD, which was created by Robot Hans. And you've got Amy and Sonic CD, which was created by Stickbot DR. So, yep. Yeah, so this is the list of mods once you put these in the mods directory folder. Right here are some codes that you can actually add into the game as well. So, for example, if you're playing anniversary mode, you can actually put lives in it. And you can even add lives into the mirror mode too. So that gives a nice little challenge if you want to, if you want a bigger challenge in the game. And disable autosave icon. That means like when you play the game, it will autosave and you see a little icon that does this. Like it will circle like in the bottom right or something. And you don't want to see that. That, that will get rid of that. So, and then settings, that's just your basic stuff. So you don't really need to touch this unless you're from a certain region or if you prefer like a much 
lighter color, which I don't really like. So I'm just going to leave it in the dark because I don't know. It's just easier for me to read and it's not so bright for me to look at. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do for the purpose of this, I'm going to show you the Metal Sonic 1 and CD mod. So you click it so that there's a tick next to it. And then after that, come down here and click on save and play. And then what this will do, it will open the game from the game's file directory. It'll take a little second for it to load. As you can see, there it goes. There's the game. I haven't got a controller plugged in for this, so I'm going to try and do this with keyboard. So I may not be good at this. So let's close that. Near Sonic Origins. Right, now don't get discouraged like if you see like for example, like if I open the game, right, so you open the game, press start, and then the game will open like normal. And there's the game. So when you press start, don't get discouraged if you don't see Metal Sonic here. Because Metal Sonic is here, it's just, um, he's just replacing the sprite for Sonic. So when you click on Sonic, so let's just continue for now. When you click on Sonic, and then you play the main game, you are now Metal Sonic. So as you can see, Metal Sonic is in Sonic 1. But yep, that is how to mod the game. That is how to do it. So... Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit that bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that we produce on this channel. I have been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>